commander is very awake, and he has his coffee, and he's having a bit of a fight with with his with his um with his brain. I mean, I can do it. I just have to add. Oh, this is much better. The problem was 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 trying to be efficient. All I had to do was go back and look at some old videos and say, oh, that's how I used to build rockets. I think we can ditch these now. There we go. This is hip. I like this. Oh, there we go. This is the power. This is the power of tweak scale. I have the exact amount of monopropellant that I need. Let's go with a lizard man or snake man name. This is just gibberish. How about a superhero, supervillain name? Or head man. Wonder what will happen. Oh, I didn't throttle up. That's why. It's not how you fly rockets. There we go. That was fun. Let's just test this out now, shall we? Now I'm just being silly. While we're in the simulation, let's just go all the way to the moon. Uh, quick, turn around. We don't really have the thrust. Survive. <laughs> Yay, boom. Oh, we just disappeared. It was just supposed to be a launch test. Instead, I think we crashed the game. Let's say hello. Hello, good evening. Welcome to... Monster Peace Theater. Today, we going to rescue the Kerbals. Oh boy, I could have a good time doing that. This Kerbal is in a low carbon orbit. His name is Deming. This Kerbal is also in a low carbon orbit. All right, enough of that. Uh, Halloray's derelict, however, is in like a geostationary or a kerbo stationary, I suppose I should say. This is in fact just debris that has not sufficiently burned up. I can delete it, but instead we're just going to enjoy the fire of re-entry. Barnstorm Hangar 1, Barnstorm Hangar 2, and then land and stop anywhere safely without destroying your aircraft or killing anyone. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm excited to see where these go, so I'm just going to accept that. Oh, launch the Kerbin space station. This is important. Without destroying my aircraft, that's that's the trick. Does Barnstorm mean fly inside it? This is also the one with air brakes, which is good. There we go. Gentle liftoff. Now, importantly, we're supposed to Barnstorm the hangars, so let's see if I can figure out what that means. Maybe it means fly under them. I'm not skilled enough for that. doesn't seem to have noticed that that's what I was trying to do. I put the gear down so that if I hit the ground, everything's okay. Uh, this is this is likely to be a revert. Oh, that's exactly what it wanted. And apparently I can do it. I love this island, by the way. Like... I don't get to come here enough, so it's been fun that this, I've had contracts bring me here three times. We're not going to make this one. Oh! Okay. That's okay. Yeah, Jeb is peeking out at like 12 Gs. That's okay. He likes doing that. I don't know how I actually pulled it off the first time. I think because I kind of was like in an altered state. I was like, I can't actually be trying to do this. Ah, I screwed it up again. Maybe coming from the other direction wouldn't be the worst idea. Mm, that's the hill. Okay, now we're gonna go under. Z, X, Z, C, no, G, B, <laughs> all the buttons. Jeb, you did it. You crazy. You crazy. Purple maniac. Oh, look, and the moon's up there too. This game is so beautiful when it's beautiful, you know? Also, I'm pretty happy with this plane now. The reason it wasn't working out so well before is because, um, well, I was trying to land it on top of mountains. Got some drogue shoots to make it extra safe for us, uh, especially since I accidentally turned the brakes off instead of on. Bean says, if you ever get tired of doing stunts, there's more important jobs for you at Mission Control if you're interested. He's correct. I'm only streaming half an hour and we've already barnstormed. I can already hear the epic music in my own head. Is this going to become epic? Oh yeah, I've noticed something interesting. Have you have you looked at the nav ball at all? If you've looked at the nav ball, you may have noticed something interesting as well. <laughs> Which is that we're sideways, so let's 
Control from here, please. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> This is where we get into trouble. I think I can ditch the fairings now. All right. Look, see, it's 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 getting closer, but it, it's starting to get pushed away. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We're gonna ride it. We're gonna keep that apoaps just a few seconds away. This is excellent. This is perfect. All right, getting ready to switch over. And look at that. <laughs> The camera switched at just the right moment. All right, switch. Power up the engines. We, we still are not out of the atmosphere. What the hell just happened? Oh, I'm in time acceleration. Now that we're in space, it's, it's fun again. 0 0.9, 0 0.8 kilometers, 0 0.7. The uh, relative speed is 49 meters per second. So we're gonna add a maneuver. And it's, I don't know whether it's gonna be normal, retrograde, whatever, but let's just have it be 49, and we're gonna warp to the next maneuver. Now we're not gonna perform that maneuver, because I don't know which way it's facing, but that tells me I need to do a five second burn to kill my relative velocity. That'd be a couple. You know what? I have the freaking docking board alignment indicator. Yeah, I have to pull the orange marker. When I, when I mean pull, I mean like, if it's above the line, I have to pull it down with S, but if it's to the left of the line, I have to push it with A. I gotta use the other hand on uh, J, K, I, L to control translation and keep the yellow marker where the green lines are. We're coming in still kind of fast. Turn RCS off, turn SAS off, and let the magnetic force. Most epic music for fuel transfers anyone who's ever had. Dun, 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 dun. I'm having so much trouble with this right now. Just fill up my tank, please. It's like getting gas in New Jersey. I do like docking. When we don't hit it, we can just drift past. I think we're just gonna float in now. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be fine. Slowly shaping up. We still got a tiny bit of fuel in this, so we might as well keep it around. We have started construction of the first station around Kerbin, and we have performed a docking maneuver. Aw, we got crickets. I live in fear that one day it just won't let me click ever again. Oh yeah, this is definitely an occasion for happiness. All right, this is finally Maypole. Can't attach wacky uneasiness. Let me make it a sub 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 sub. -o. I like to stack my things upside down. Apparently, now all of this has to go in a fairing. Maybe that's not so good. This fairing is ridiculous. The fairing is taller than the rocket by far. Now we're having a great time. What? Yeah, that's exactly. What have I made? Look at this fairy. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Oh, a nighttime launch. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is way too tall. What the heck am I doing here? I'm not looking and I don't have the brain power anymore. Once upon a time I did. But that time has changed. Okay, there they go. I love looking back downrange at the space center and the runway down there. Uh, decouple. There it is. You know, I've been saying for days that I was developing a moon space station and it's finally out of the container. This is the Kerbal Orbit Insertion Dance. We. There we go. That's a space station. Ezron, are you a lady? Yes, you are. Okay, let's go over to this, this nice, cozy space station. Got distracted because I don't want to actually bump into this thing. All right, grab and board. We need to do a couple of phasing orbits. Second Kerbal of three about to be rescued, which will bring my grand total of all Kerbals. Um, <laughs> Uh, to six. Um, why isn't it telling me about the Kerbal? That was close. All right, well, Deming, you almost uh, almost busted my ship, but that's okay. And let's join your friend. Deming is a girl, okay. I did not know. <laughs> but anyway, look at you guys. Batteries on and Deming. Um, say goodnight from the Maypole Space Station.